While burning ambition can get you far in life, you'd think that it may just come with the risk of making you selfish. Habib Nourbai has won the most recent Mr. South Africa title, so there's no questioning his ambition. But is he always number one in his own thoughts? Karishma met up with Habib to find out more about his priorities. When Habib Nourbai entered the Mr. South Africa competition, he knew he couldn't rely on looks alone. This wasn't because he was lacking in that department, but rather that the focus had moved from the male model to the model male. As an academic, biokineticist and humanitarian, he pretty much had all the bases covered. Clearly, the judges shared this view and Habib was voted the popular winner. Currently a lecturer and researcher at the Cape Peninsula University of Technology, he holds a BA in Sports Psychology and a Master's in Biokinetics. And when he isn't working or helping the community, you'll find him putting fitness theory into practice. I've had a chance to hang out with quite a few Miss South Africans, but today I'm so excited because I get to spend the whole day with the reigning Mr. South Africa, Habib Nourbai. Hello, Mr. South Africa. How are you? Karishma, how are you doing? <laughs> so lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Habib, you are such a busy man. Take me through a day in your life. It's more so a balance between academia and humanitarian work and now so with my role as Mr. South Africa. So time management is very important and it's something that I try to inspire to the students that I teach and even to the youth that we mentor. Now I have to ask, why did you choose to enter the Mr. South Africa pageant? The main reason for joining Mr. South Africa was to maintain the difference making that I want to do within the community. We've had challenges in the past trying to do charity work in terms of exposure, in terms of funding, and the Mr. South Africa platform has been imperative in trying to assist us with that, but I'm also trying to be a role model to young men. How has this impacted your career? It's been fantastic in trying to forge the collaborations in terms of meeting new people, networking with people, perhaps an interview on Mela, you know, so it's been fantastic in that regard. Well, I'm so excited to spend the rest of the day with you. Should we get going? I think we should. Let's do it. Habib, why did the field of biokinetics and sports science intrigue you? I was always looking for a profession that would merge my passion for people and my passion for sport and I feel that biokinetics was that perfect profession. You have a vast knowledge and understanding of the human body. I'm sure fitness is really important to you. It definitely is and you know without movement what are we? I'm so happy right now that we're being interviewed while standing because we've been built to stand and to lie down and not to sit and so the human body is an integral part of everyone's life and um, it's such an amazing physiology of how the body works. So should we get moving? I think we should. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, <laughs> Glad I brought my game face. It seems like it's going to be a tough day. It's just a warm up, Karishma, so let's go. Oh, let's go. Yeah. You know, Karishma, a cardiovascular exercise is so important for us. But there's other aspects and modalities of fitness and strength. There's endurance, there's power, there's plyometrics, even stamina. Habib, I love a great cardio workout, but unfortunately I've got an old dance injury on my knee and on my hip, and they're both on the right hand side of my body. Any advice to help combat that? Well, I tell you what, I've got some exercises for you to do that will help that. Let's do it. It was a perfect day for outdoor exercise. So Habib and Karishma headed for Seapoint. So we're going to go on to the shoulder pull dance. I want you okay. to have a seat for me. Perfect. Okay, and this is going to work your body weight. All right, so okay. I want you to control, <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. That's it. I'll help you. Why is the breathing so important? Breathing is very important because it enhances blood flow to the muscles when you're working. And it's very important in terms of uh, the respiratory system as well. And relax for me. Okay, so we're going to do a side lying leg raise. Hopefully that will help your hip a bit. Okay, let's, let's go. go for it. Okay. So we lie so down here? You're going to face me. So over here. Uh, no, other way around. Other way. <laughs> so just stabilize your hand onto the hip and slowly push out as high up as you can. That's it. Keep it nice and straight. Why does this help to stabilize the hip? So this particular exercise works your muscles around the hip. So your glute muscles, your core muscles, your adductor and abductor muscles, which is your groin muscles. And together, it both stabilizes and strengthens the muscles. So in your case, hopefully reduces the pain. Habib, what is the benefits of doing concentric exercises like this compared to just stretching? Well, concentric exercises is muscle shortening. Stretching exercises is either dynamic or static lengthening stretching. So you're trying to prevent uh, the pulling of the muscle, you're warming up the muscles. So muscle shortening is more about either muscle building or muscle enhancement. All right, let's do the next one. Okay. 
Okay, so we're doing some core stabilization. Mm -hmm. Main idea is that you want to hold yourself up, okay. and you keep your legs straight, and you're going to lift it up together, working the ab muscles. Okay. One, that's it. Two more, yeah, that's it. I like the shivering, I like the shivering, and relax. Okay, Habib, how do you think the notion of healthy living has evolved over the years? It's very important for us to remind ourselves that we need to keep moving, because biokinetics actually means life through movement. And so we need to keep moving all the time. Do you think a healthy diet goes hand in hand with a good fitness routine? Absolutely. You know, eating is probably 80% the most important in terms of your healthy lifestyle. And, and not many people focus on that. They just said, eat what you want and I'll exercise it off in the gym. And we all know that that's not true and you have to focus on what you're eating. Now, I'm all for healthy living, but I'm such a foodie and I just can't resist some of my favorite things to indulge in. What are some of your food kryptonites? <laughs> I must say probably baked potato. <laughs> but then I'll only probably have it maybe once a week, uh, you know, and exercise very much during the day. But also, I'm actually a fan of the low carbohydrate lifestyle. It works for me personally and I really enjoy it. And uh, just for me, it, it's made things so much easier. Sleeping patterns, reducing stress levels, improving of productivity during the day. Have you Thank you so much for spending the day with me and for giving me some really valuable tips. I wish you all the best for your future. Oh, you're welcome. It's been my pleasure and thank you very much. Let's go cool off with the jog. Oh. <laughs>